is up YouTube it is your boy the franchise guy we're coming at you again uh, with the best sort of our NHL 21 be a pro featuring the uh, our I said franchise mode did I our be a pro featuring chance Bishop uh, we're taking on uh, the the Detroit Red Wings got Lucas Raymond seems like they got Rasmussen all right so we play for for uh, All right, so this is our first ever game with the Flyers playing in the playoff. Oh, yeah. That's unfortunate. All right, um, I don't know. Uh, so I'm not really sure what's, uh, what the game plan is with the channel currently because we're looking to rebrand the channel with the new baseball game coming out. Out of the penalty box. There you go, bud. Out of the penalty box and into the goals co uh, column. First of this playoffs for chance. You'd love to see that right there for the young old fella. All right. Uh, so we're looking to rebrand the channel. It's not. It's nothing uh, new. I haven't thought of it. I just don't know exactly when. Uh, when it's gonna be because it's gonna be a whole a whole redo of the channel it's gonna be um, it's gonna be the Twitter it's gonna be rebranded uh, the, uh, the twitch is gonna be rebranded um, the main reason is I know I brought this before when I started my channel two three years ago at this point I think it is um, I didn't I didn't look I just thought I'm gonna play sports franchise games. I'll play. I'll play my Chris franchise guy. Great name. Well, I did that, and then it's like, oh, okay. I you know do that. I create the channel. I start playing content. And I go, oh, there's a Madden guy. Ironically, because I also started with just Madden on the channel, whose name is that franchise guy. Uh, so I literally, without realizing it, just. You know, create a channel and we'll just slightly change the name of someone else who's already a you know a pretty popular YouTuber. So I mean, uh, we've created our kind of character right here with Chance Bishop. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be along the lines of Chance Bishop. Uh, we have a card opening channel where it's, called, where it's uh, Chance Bishop breaks. The link is in the description down below for that channel. We open up uh, packs every Monday and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we had a pack opening actually yesterday over on the channel, so definitely check that out. Drop a like, especially if you're into Pokemon, you're into sports cards. You know, it's the whole, the whole lot right there is uh, a thing. Now, uh, no, that's not going to go. Hmm. Cuss price ain't call a, uh, uh, tripping right there. Wouldn't be too surprised, honestly, frankly. All right, all right, we're we're doing stuff. We we got it going down. Again, really? Dude, is cool. I guess he's an assistant. I mean, but I just ran into the boards. We didn't really. Like, absolutely wreck them. We just kind of like ran him into the boards a little bit. And just give him a little, you know, a little shoulder in. Yeah, but I did, I did plan to stream these too. I did plan to stream, uh, but just, I don't know. I just wasn't in the mood to stream, frankly. And, uh, so like, I just opted just to record these without streaming and all. And apologize about that. We did stream on Thursday though. So, I mean, guys, definitely check out our streams when we do stream. Uh, it's not really a, uh, we don't really have a, a set schedule, so it's kind of just on how I feel personally that day, but I try to stream every week. I want to try and uh, get down to probably about stream for a couple hours uh, a week, you know, like four or five hours a week. That's my game plan right there. Not sure if I can actually do that or if I'll actually be able to do that, but hopefully we can get like four or five hours a week in and streaming. Uh, but right now we're just kind of playing some... Uh, we're just playing hockey right now, which I know is not super popular. 
uh, especially since we're not playing Hut, we're not playing Shell, we're not doing any of that uh, stuff that actually gets views. We're just doing franchise, doing be a pro stuff. I like to play, um, frankly, because I am absolute trash at Hut. I've tried playing Hut before. I've never won a game. There we go. Oh, what? No offense or no um assist. That's unfortunate. All right, Brinkster, the Brink truck, though, with uh, the goal. Ties it up three apiece here with uh, eight minutes left in uh, the first. Or second. Dude, nice. Dude, chance with his big, beefy sternum just gets in the way. Oh, good block. Good block right there. I can't even be mad at that. No, we just... Alright, 39. Alright, I want us off the ice. We'll get off the ice right now. That's fine. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, my dudes. Alright, we got... We'll figure this out. We'll, we'll uh, find something to do here. We'll, uh... I don't know. We'll, uh... Hopefully my, I just realized I didn't turn my dehumidifier off. I have a lizard in my room, and since I live in a basement, uh, it's been raining really bad here. The humidity's been really bad, so I'm gonna lean over out of frame so sorry professional streamer here by the way actually i'm not a professional streamer i don't uh i don't do this full time i do it part time as a hobby i'd love to be professional though so guys definitely if you're watching this and you think hey drop that drop that follow button go subscribe on youtube i mean definitely more, uh, worry about youtube before we worry about twitch you now twitch is kind of secondary to me right now like if i were to be able to do oh that's easy Dude, Anthony Mantha, the former Red Wing. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if uh, it's one of these things where it's like, hey, if we stream, if we uh, did this full time, I would definitely stream, you know, at least five days a week, four or five days a week. I just, it's just how it worked out, I think. But uh, since we've done it, it's a little hard to stream uh, that amount with uh, my uh, lack of availability for my schedule. What is 27 doing? There you go. Alright. Off the ice. Oh, like I got hit against the boards. Come on, bud. Alright. Uh, 1450 left. It's a 5 5 game arena for the Flyers. You guys remember, too, also for. Uh, what six six? Jeez, we are doing only two games. We're not gonna do. We're gonna do two games. Uh, so if it's a, you know, we we play game one, we sim the next to next elimination. If it's a game we, you know, we're up or down the series and we avoid elimination, we'll come back on. Uh, we'll come back on uh, Thursday with the next episode of this round. All right, big boy hit. Ooh, good shot. Oh, we uh overcommitted on that one a little bit right there. Definitely overcommitted to that. All right. <clears throat> 252. Hopefully we go to overtime. Uh, hopefully we get a quick goal in overtime, or if not, we're just we uh, win an outright. Not bad. I'll take a I'll take a six seven win or seven six win. A lot of great goaltending game at all for either team. Uh, Thirteen combined goals. Eesh. Not a not a great game for either goaltender. I feel like I feel like a kind of a lazy goaltending game, frankly, in uh, my opinion at least. But who knows? Coach is gonna be like, um, you didn't uh, hold up my promise on your ass. So no, we actually held the promise. Oh, it's a great forechecking, bro. We uh got him with the good old forecheck, back check, cross check, you know, hip check, got him. Uh, third star is gonna go to Michael Rasmussen right there. Four point game, jeez Louise, good for him. One goal, uh, three assistorinos. It's not gonna be an easy series, is it? Uh, Alex Golchenyuk, two goals and an assist, and a big boy hit. And first star goes to Lucas Raymond. Five points, one goal, four assists. I'm pretty sure the first guy had... Wait, did he say... I say one goal, four assists. Jeez Louise. Dude came out of his uh, skates for this one. But let's get in that second game right about 
now on the series yeah game uh five of the series uh so we're up three games to one right now i mean tucker tynan in net for the red wings does this week he did too well in the playoffs uh carter hart i mean eh i guess he can't be any worse frankly so bishop rasmussen you love to see it right there as they face off uh legends right there Dude, Anthony Mantha striking the dagger in his former team, right? That's what you like to see. Dude, guy comes out. I'm not sure if he actually played uh, this season with the Red Wings before he got traded to the Flyers or if he was playing with somewhere else. I know in real life he got traded to the uh, Capitals for, like, peanuts almost. I don't remember him. It wasn't, like, that big of a deal. It was more of a blockbuster. The Capitals got him than uh, what the Red Wings got. Dude, imagine this guy's bullying me without a stick. Dude, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, not sure what's up, really. I mean, went to the zoo today. The zoo was fun. Yeah, it's like it's a weird thing going like to places that are normally crowded during COVID. Like when I was when I used to work at the zoo, there's a, a rare animal building. So it's got like different primates in it. It's got like some shrews, some naked mole rats. You know, just smaller mammals. Uh, really in it. And in the summer, and it's super busy, like, you could barely walk through it. Because it was, like, shoulder to shoulder. People were squished in because they didn't want to see the animals. The animals hated it because there was too many people. You know, flash photography. You know, it was, you know, soundproofers, whatever the glass could possibly be. Guess what? You know, you can't block out all the sounds. It's not how it works. So, I went with my girlfriend to the zoo. And we went, we went later, too. So, we went around... Uh, we went to uh, 2.30. So we went from like 2.30 to when the zoo closed at 5. So we're there for, you know, a couple hours, two and a half hours. You know, just enough to like actually sit there and see everything. And, you know, uh, some things I feel like were slowed down definitely because of code restrictions. So you couldn't like walk through things. So everything was like in a line. You kind of had like, uh, not like standby lines, but you kind of had like standby lines for it. Which is fine. It's not a big rush. You know, I'm getting to see everything I want to see. You know, I'm getting to see everything, you know. I'm getting a better experience now with a standby line that I feel like I would have gotten in a normal zoo day. You know, because uh, the big cats were all out. And the big cats, you know, are out. But usually when I was to work in the summer, you know, it's too hot. And, you know, whatever. They just don't want to... They don't want you know they want to sleep because you know they're just large animals. That's what they do. They sleep. They don't. They're not always active. They're not always doing stuff. You know. So what? Uh, it was awesome because we went to the zoo. Like the snow leopards are out. The uh, Amor leopard was out, and was, those are animals that are literally always sleeping. It has nothing to do with uh, you know, it being too warm for snow leopards. It has nothing to do with it. You know, they can insulate their own heat just fine. And they don't have a problem with the heat. That's not the problem. It's just that, in general, it's like they don't... What is there for them to really do? You know, I can... It was it was a nice day. It was like 60 degrees out. So, like, things are more active. You know, the rhino's out. The rhino's, you know, trotting around. Uh, zebras are out. Giraffes are all out. And, you know, things you, you could always see because, you know, there's big animals they have these big outdoor enclosures like hippos and rhinos giraffes and all you see but you know how often you get to get like the front of the like the front of the fence and you just you just walk up to the front of the fence and you just stand there and be like look at that giant hippo right there and it would you know pop up and it would you know just making noise and you know it come up and it'd flip its ears and its ears would make noise and you know, open its mouth and show its teeth and it was really cool you know, just things you, uh, you won't really have to experience to see when, like, things are, I feel like, at full capacity for, uh, whatever. Why are we on the wing? Why is Colin White taking face off and we're on the wing? Alright, Rasmussen. Dude, Lucas Raymond had a big game in game one. 
But uh, you know, it was nice. Like we we uh. So I hadn't been to the zoo also in like a bunch of years, like I'm I'm thinking at least four or five years. I just haven't gone back after I um left in 2015. So you know I just hadn't gone back. I think I've gone back once since 2015. Um, so you know I just I just never went back to it, and it's whatever. It's fine. Uh, so when I was uh, they did this kitty area. And, but I guess, you know, with things changing and all, and, uh, they kind of updated it, and it's, like, more of a, not like, a lounge area, but it's, like, a beer garden, almost. You know, you can go, uh, that's, like, wine coolers, and, you know, they had, like, uh, some sort of, I'm not sure if it was tap beer or whatever beer it was, but they had a beer on tap. And, you know, it was cool, because you actually have to, you know, go in there, you know, we only, we didn't stay long, we were, like, 10, 15 minutes, you know, just sat down, had a pretzel, you know, just walked half the zoo, you know, took a slight little, you know, a little break, and, you know, it was nice to actually have a seat to sit down in. You know, seats were actually available opposed to, like, a normal zoo day. Like, you're, if you go to the zoo on a normal day, you're, you're not finding a seat anywhere. Every seat is taken at all times. You know, bench next to the bathroom, taken. Bench next to all the trash cans, taken. They're, they're always taken, all the time. You know, lines for food, insane there's no point waiting in a line for food like you're just gonna wait there for 30 minutes anyway and it's just gonna be too long you end up wasting so much that's like an hour experience just to you know to go order food but i was look at the line for food week we didn't stop and get food from like i guess the main food place at the zoo we just got a pretzel from this little like beer garden side place um but even the, even that line seemed like it just kept moving pretty quick like oh you know, they weren't super slammed they weren't super busy so that was, that was pretty cool. It was different. You know, of course, unfortunately, you know, some of the things that, you know, you love to see the reptile house, since it's all it's all indoors, close, you know, close quarter things, you can only do so much with stuff like that. And uh, there we go, big assist right there. Okay. Gal, uh, Galchenyuk with the goal. Up 3 nothing in game uh, game 5. Uh, but those those are closed, unfortunately. Uh, like the reptile house, the bird house, the... Uh, Small mammal house were all closed, which it makes sense. Like I'm not like upset by. It. I'm like, I assumed like going into like these are most likely gonna be closed, and like I'm going into. It, I'm like, all right, I'm fine with that. That's cool. I know it's gonna happen. It's you know I'm not gonna you know get upset by it. So yeah, do we trade? Uh, Isaac Ratcliffe for Anthony Mantha. If so, that's actually really funny. No. Go on, Derek. Ooh. Good block by Tucker. No, no, come on. All right, come on. I know I'm never finished fighting, dude. If they think I'm finished fighting, I don't think they know what uh kind of player I am. No. All right. Ooh, there you go. Another assist right there. Is that the Brink truck right there? Get up, Bobby Brink. Dude, top top prospect for the Flyers right there. Bobby Brink, the Brink truck, baby. Now, 4 nothing, only in the second period. 11 minutes left the second period, too. Boy, this is a slow-moving game. Oh, it's 1-4 now. Come on, Carter. Dude, come on, Carter. You trash. Did he just... Deck two players. Oh, Philip Zadina. Come on. Oh, how do we not hit him? 
I wanted to like, hit him, hit him. How do we not do that? How do we not just absolutely like wreck him? All right. <clears throat> Final period. Here we go, boys. Boys, girls, my foreign audience. I always like to. I like that when I because like, um, if you go on YouTube Studio, it tells you like where your views come from, and if we have certain like NHL player debuts, uh, it it seems like like whatever country they're from always seems like there's a spike in views. Uh, for that, uh, from that country, I guess for that player. So, that's cool. All right, oh, all right, thirteen. All right, Rasmussen gets hit. Ooh, come on. Oh, 27. Oh, Lucas Raymond's out, out skating us. He's you know, making us look silly out here. Nice save by Carter Hart. Defense got absolutely like wrecked on that one. Yeah, dump it out. Just get some line changes in. Dump it in, get some line changes done. It's got 13 minutes left. Don't blow the lead. It's the last thing I want to do. Left some goals here. You know. Two goalies, most dangerous lead in hockey. So, score a goal either or just you know hold them out, whatever you want to do. Oh, okay. On the bench for the final 13 minutes of the game, six-two victory. It's what you like to see. Nice. All right, Philadelphia Flyers advancing to the next round uh, for their first time. I'm not sure how many years. You know, playoff series win here for the Flyers. Our first time in the playoffs with the Flyers. Uh, involves a playoff series win. Yeah, it's pretty awesome right there. Good for Philadelphia and Carter Hart, Bobby Brink, uh, the whole lot, the whole gang right here. I'm not sure if Claude Drew's still on this team, unfortunately. Oh, it's Chance Bishop leading the leading the line right there. I don't think I've actually really seen our play, our like, my player or be a pro player in uh in like these. I just don't think I saw him last year when we won a bunch of cups. And this was whenever the captains always like left teams after two years. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool though that that we're the that we're leading the line because we're the captain. You gotcha came flying in that replay. It's pretty funny actually. Dude, coach is gonna be like, uh, "You trash, son." Minus fifty. Oh no, plus 12, 50, 25, and fifty. Dude, thanks, coach. I got you. Thanks for giving me that 20-minute break, by the way, at the end of the game. I didn't want to play more or anything. All right. Third star goes to Nolan Patrick. Uh, one's across the board right there. Second star goes to the Brink truck. Two goals, no assist, no hit arenas for Bobby Brink. Nice little backflip right there uh, from the Brinkster. All right. Now taking a look who's first star. Chance Bishop right there. Zero goals, three assists, eight hit arenas for uh, the captain of the Philadelphia Flyers. Love to see that right there. But if you guys were to hit that like button, comment down below your favorite part of this and text on YouTube though. Peace out, rock on, stay super classy, and have a great day, I guess. I don't, uh, I don't know.